What's going on my dudes, One Step here today, showing you all the big buffs that these characters and all the cameos got that you need to know about with the new Ghostface update to Mortal Kombat 1. A lot of characters got some good changes, some new buffs, even cameos got some buffs. And man, I feel like we're gonna see a lot of different uh, mains, different cameo mains for people, because this is some good shit. Remember to subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat 1 content and let's jump into these buffs. And while we're at it, my dudes, let me know down below in the comments, who is your main character and main cameo? Why? Let me know down below. All right, so subs Zero mains, you'll be happy. You've been begging slash whining for a buff for quite some time. He finally got one that is definitely worth noting. First and foremost, his slide will now switch sides no matter what, whether you enhance it or not. That's gonna be huge for combos, you'll see in a minute. If you hold three doing it, he'll still do the normal standard move. And not only that, but his ice cold move will now freeze an opponent a second time, meaning if this is the second time they're frozen in a combo, it'll still work. So you'll freeze them once and then just do a combo, do the ice clone, it'll still freeze them like this. Ice clone frozen. Let's go. So that's two big buffs right there but the ice clone when you enhance it each of those individual clones will freeze the opponent individually even in the same combo so meaning you can freeze an opponent up to three times in one combo for a visual example here's how it might look Freezing your opponent multiple times in one combo, even with the ISO, it just feels so satisfying. So yeah, definitely a buff worth noting for Sub-Zero. Now on to Gearus. I've been waiting for a Gearus buff for quite some time, and yes, he finally got one. Before you could not enhance his command grab, well, uh, now you can. It does a little bit more damage, but the best part about it, well, two best things about it, it has a different hit reaction, so you can use cameos after this to extend the combo even more. Just for a quick example, like this. And yes, that works even from the corner command grab. Same exact thing, different hit reaction here. Cameo. Not only that, but your opponent, they can duck command grabs. Okay, that's totally fine. You'll whiff that, you get punished. But his new enhanced command grab will actually grab ducking opponents. That, that is huge. Besides jumping, there's really no way to get past his enhanced command grab. It is just beautiful. I've been thinking myself for quite some time to put more time into Gearus, and now I think it's time I do it. Cause man, he is a blast. With a new character like Ghostface, here comes new moves for Shijinko. So what does Shijinko copy and or take from Ghostface? Well, let me show you and tell you how to utilize it as well. Down forward, Kami will take his a uh, projectile. You can hold it and then let go for projectile. You can use that in combos like this. So if your character does not have a projectile, well, when you fight Ghostface and you use Shijinko, now you do. If you do down forward cameo, then hold down, he'll do his dive move, and then slash your opponent from the low. If you hold the cameo while you're doing that, so you do down forward cameo, hold down, hold cameo, he'll crawl, and then let go at the same time. And that can make for some really hard to block mix, because he'll crawl, go for the low, which means you can go for the overhead. If you want to cause some mind games, here's how it might look. <laughs> You see that we're going for the overhead while Shijinko goes for the low sweep. So we gain a projectile, super hard to block mix, and we're not even done yet. His down back cameo is Ghostface's backstage move, allowing us to continue the ground combo, and that makes for some awesome damage. Like, check this out. Almost 49%, just one bar using Shijinko against Ghostface like that. That is awesome. Projectile, go for the low, then mix it up. Go for the hard to block mix. Ground combo, since that any character can utilize, absolutely way worth it. Shijinko taking those moves from Ghostface. I think we're gonna see a lot more Shijinko mains, I'll tell you what, especially if you're fighting Ghostface. Ashra also got a really nice buff. Simply put, she can just change from uh, light to dark a lot easier now. Because before you had to do down back one, that just took like what felt like too much time. You can never really get it off in like a fast paced fight like this. But now if you just hold the stand switch button inside of your enhanced special, she will switch versions of herself. So you can just do it inside of combos like this. Combo change, super easy. Now we're dark mode. Now we have all of our dark mode moves, super nice. The ability to change versions inside of combos makes it one, way easier. And two, just way more viable to actually utilize those different modes. So yeah, slight Osher buff, but uh, way worth it. Now on to Reiko. His forward two now has a different hit reaction. So rather than slamming your opponent down face first to the floor they kind of flip slowly allowing you to use cameos to extend the combo so you might see it happen and look like this or even like this 
I'm not saying that Reiko needed a buff, but something to really lab with with that new forward two hit reaction. I'm gonna have some fun labbing the crap out of that one. And yes, even cameos like Serena got a new buff. Not, not only just a new buff, but a new move entirely. Y'all know that Serena mains love to just use her for ground combo extension, and that's fine. Like, it does the job, sure. Hardly ever do you see them use the uh, meter drain move. Like, this is a great utility that almost nobody ever uses. You can do that in the corner, because, like, what are they gonna do, right? Like, in a corner, their bar is getting drained this entire time. Well, now she has a new rune that benefits you even more. Down cameo is a different rune that actually enhances your ability to gain bar and enhances your damage as well the whole time you're in it. To gain almost a full bar off of doing that and it turns a combo like this into, you know, from, uh, from 169 damage to a simple 191 damage. So we're adding about 30 damage from just from that combo alone. Of course, the longer the combo, the more damage you're gonna do. And you're gaining bar the entire time. So yeah, Serena has an invulnerable get up and reversal. Great combo extension on the ground. Gives you a projectile, allows you to drain your opponent's bar. It can now enhance your damage and give you more bar. Serena was already amazing before, but now she's just, she's just crazy. Smoke mains, you'll be happy to hear that he got a really cool buff. His vicious vapors, the back forward three can now be utilized in the air just like that you enhance it's actually a restand move and of course you can cancel it as well to really throw up some mind games to your opponent but if you want to use it in combos here's how it might look if you want to enhance it in a combo here's how that might look So yeah, Smoke getting a whole new aerial move, aerial cancel. Smoke was already pretty nasty before, but now he's gonna be even more so. A couple more cameos that got buffs, Frost is one of them. Before this, her most recent buff gave her the ice wall move, allowing you to do corner combos from anywhere on screen. And she has the ice clash move, which is an invulnerability move on get up. But now if you do the ice clash move against the ice wall that she creates, it is now a pop up. And that can make for some really cool combos like this. Using the ice wall and then the ice clash for a pop-up in the same combo just feels so good. Keep in mind, that has to be against the ice wall that she creates. You can't just do it in the corner wall. Uh, it'll just be the same move that she always does. There's no pop-up. But yeah, new pop-up move with certain stipulation for Frost. You'll love to see it. And even Sub-Zero Cameo got a new buff as well. Going from ice armor into cold shoulder has a new hit reaction. Whereas before, it would slam your opponent to the ground. Well, now if you do in the corner like this, you have a really good timing for a combo like this. <laughs> I find it a lot easier and more consistent to do that in the corner. But having that new hit reaction is just awesome. Not only that, but doing that cold shoulder from the ice armor now has longer reach. Like, that was pretty good. It's not, of course, you know, full screen, but it is still pretty good range on it. There was a ton of character and cameo changes slash buffs in this new Ghostface update. I covered the big majority ones that you need to know about. So with that being said, let me know your thoughts down below. What was your favorite character cameo change and or buff? Does it affect you and your main? Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Mortal Kombat news, guides, reactions, and more.